Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to put titles like this in your cinematics. So if you want to put your name, your brand or the title of your game or even a full screen image, this method will work for everything, for any kind of image that you want to show while a cinematic is playing. It's really easy to do, so without further ado, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to get the titles that I want. In my case, I want some PNGs with a transparent background. I made my titles in Canva because I thought it would be like way easier to do. I made them 1920 by 1080. I really recommend this aspect ratio, this resolution, because it is the resolution in which a lot of people will play. And it's the resolution that I have on my screen, so it helps me to see better how it will look in the cinematic. So as you can see, I have this title, I'm Happy Presents, and this Cannon Island, which is like the title of my island, so to speak. If you're going to use your images as titles, remember that you need to have them with a transparent background. So if you're using Canva, like I'm doing, remember to, when you press download, check the transparent background option and download your titles. Now we go back to UEFN. I'm going to create a folder called titles. I'll double click. And now that I have my titles downloaded, I'm just going to select them and drag them and drop them in the titles folder. Let's just wait for them to import. Now we have our textures, which are the titles that we want. What we're going to do now is to create a widget blueprint. To create a widget blueprint, you need to right click, go to user interface, click on widget blueprint and select user widget. I'm going to call this one widget title 01, enter. And now let's double click on the widget blueprint and this window should open right up. I'm going to dock it right over here. Now that we have the widget open, we're going to go here where it says size box and we're going to drag and drop on widget title. Then we're going to do the same with overlay on the size box. And then we're going to go here on image and we're going to drag and drop on overlay. Now let's select image. And we can see here all the options that we have with this image. What I'm going to be doing is on horizontal alignment and vertical alignment, I'm going to go center and center, horizontally and vertically, because that's where I want my title to be. Here where it says image, I'm going to look for the title that I want. In my case is title one. And as you can see, here's the title. And now we can take a look at the title. If you go here on scale, you can modify the scale of the image. You can also tilt it this way with shear or choose a different angle. In my case, I want it exactly how it is. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to click on compile and save. Now I'm going to do the same for the other title, but what I can do now is just right click on the widget blueprint that we already have and click duplicate. This one will be widget title 02. Now we can double click here. We go to image and in this case, I will change this image to title 02. Now let's hit compile and save and let's go back to my level. So now that we have our widget blueprints, what I'm going to be adding to the map is some HUD message devices. So I'm going to go here to Fortnite and search for HUD message. So we're going to drag and drop a HUD message device. We will need one HUD message device for each title that we want. So in this case, I will use this one for the title one. So let's rename this HUD message device to HUD title one. And now let's go here to the details panel and change some settings. On message, we want to have it blank like it is. We're going to be going here where it says show for duration. We're going to tick this off so it's false. This is because the duration of the message will be determined by us on sequencer. So we don't need to determine the duration here. 
On play sound, I'm going to select here and press clear because we don't want any sound to play when the title is displayed. On placement, I'm going to go here on custom and on screen anchor, I'm going to choose center because I want my title to be exactly on the center of the screen. And here where it says HUD widget, I'm going to go back where I have my titles and I'm going to drag and drop the widget that I want. So since this is HUD title one, I'm going to drop my widget title one. And here where it says intro and outro animation, we can determine which type of animation we want for the title to show. At the end of this video, I will show you how each of these animations look. But for now, I'm going to choose fade and zoom. And as an outro animation, I'm going to leave it on fade and zoom as well. And that will be all. Now I'm going to duplicate this HUD message. And this one, I will call it HUD title two. And having this selected, I'm going to go back to widget title and I'm going to replace it with the widget title two. So now we have the two HUD message devices for the titles that I want in my cinematic. So let me show you here on my cinematics folder. I have a, a, an intro cinematic already made. Let me show you real quick how this cinematic looks. So here is what I want my title of I'm um, Happy Presents. And here I want to show the Canyon Island. So now that you have your cinematic open, let me close this once. What we're going to do to add the titles to our cinematics is the following. I'm going to add the hot title one and I'm going to drag and drop it here. And I'm going to be doing the same with hot title two. So as you remember, hot title one is the Cannon Island one and hot title two is I'm Happy Presents, right? So I want I'm Happy Presents to be here. When you add devices to the sequencer, you can determine when to activate certain functions of these devices. So in this case, I'm going to go to HUD Title 2, press here on the plus icon, go to Gameplay Events, and as you can see here, we can add a keyframe for a certain event. So in my case, what I want to add as an event is a show event of my title and the hide event of my title. If we go here to HUD title, for example, we can see that it has different functions. It has the show function and hide function, and we can activate that through sequencer. So for example, I want my title to show um, here on this part, for example. So here on gameplay events, I'm going to add a keyframe. And now that you see this keyframe that got added, I can right click, go to properties, and select what gameplay event function I want for this. So in my case, I want this one to be show. So here it will show the HUD title too, right? And around here on the three second mark, I'm going to add another keyframe. But in this case, the event that I want is the hide event. So here it will show the title and here it will hide the title. Now I'm going to be doing the same for the other one, for my title one, which is the Canyon Island logo. So I'll do the same. I'll go here on the hot title. I'm going to press plus gameplay events. I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to right click on the keyframe properties, gameplay event show. And now I'll go here and add another keyframe, right click, gameplay event, hide. So here, the title two, which is the I'm happy presents, it will show, then hide. And then it will happen the same with the Canyon Island logo, which is the hot title one. So it will show and then it will hide. Whenever you put these keyframes, it will play the intro and outro animations that you chose on the device. As you can see, the titles do not show here on the sequencer because these are devices that work in game. So in order for us to see how the titles look, we would need to try them in game. So I'm going to save. 
and let's launch session and see how it looks. Okay, so now I set up this trigger platform to play the intro cinematic. Let's see how the titles look. And there you have it. That's how you add titles to your cinematics. So remember, you can do many things within the widget blueprint. For example, if I have white letters, I can go over here on tint and modify the color that I want for my title, for example. And another thing is that you can try different combinations of this intro animation. So depending on your map, you can choose which of these animations work better for your map or the style of your map and your game. So I'm going to show you very quickly how all of these animations look, just so you know which animation to use on your titles. And that will be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, then I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas for future tutorials, some things that you want to learn how to do on UEFN, much better if it has something to do with cinematics, then please leave it in the comment section below. I read every comment. I try to reply to every comment as well. I really appreciate all of the messages that I have received and I'm very thankful for each one of you that follow me and like my content. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any further questions, remember that you can join my Discord server and thank you again for watching. See you guys in another tutorial. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.